Today's class, we will be dealing with a new topic, composite journal entries. What are composite journal entries? Composite journal entries are prepared when we have to pass journal entries uh, with the aggregation of multiple accounts. So you may come across journal entries, which may be dealing with similar accounts. So instead of passing separate, okay, instead of passing separate journal entries, what we would be doing is we will be combining these journal entries and then we would be preparing them. So we all are familiar with the fact that when we prepare journal entries, we are preparing journal entries in the chronological order. So on the same day, you may have multiple transactions which may be involving the same account. Okay? You may have the you may have uh, multiple transactions which are taking place on the same day involving the same account. So instead of passing separate entries for this, what we have what we can do is we can combine the transactions together and then we can uh, prepare them. Okay? So these entries are referred to as composite journal entries. So composite general entries are prepared usually when multiple transactions are taking place on the same day. So that's the first condition for you to pass composite journal entry. The first condition is that multiple transactions should be taking place on the same day. Second thing is in these multiple transactions, there should be the involvement of some common accounts. Okay, there should be the involvement of some common accounts. So that is when we go for composite journal entries. And finally, by doing so, it will help us in simplifying the process of passing the entries. Okay? The process of passing these entries, it will become easier for us. It will become simple for us. Okay? So that is what is meant by composite journal entries. So composite journal entries helps in simplifying the process of passing the entries into the books of account. Now, let's look at a question together. Uh, the, we will be preparing a journal entry which involves composite journal entries. And the question goes like this. Pass the journal entries for the following transactions in the books of PQRS. And then we have around seven uh, transactions. Let's prepare the journal entries for these questions. The transaction on May 1st, it tells us that started business with cash rupees 20,000, furniture 20,000, missionary 25,000. So on first, technically what is happening is that you are starting a business and whenever you start in business, any asset that you bring in that is referred to as capital. Now, whatever you're contributing as capital, it need not always be in the form of cash. You can also bring in the form of assets as well. So cash, furniture and missionary that you're bringing in, technically all these are part and parcel of your, uh, all these are part and parcel of your uh, capital. So now let's start preparing the journal entries in the books of PQRS Limited. Okay, so that's the, and uh, these transactions are taking place on 1st of May 2020. And what all the items which are coming in? Cash account debited, 20,000. Okay, then furniture account debited, furniture account debited, 20,000. Then machinery account debited, so machinery is 25,000. Now, what is common for all these? What is common for all this is capital. Okay, now, we know capital is personal. Capital account to capital account. Okay. And now we have to take the sum total. So uh, what is the amount that you will credit? 20,000 plus 20,000 plus 25,000, which is 65,000, okay. which is 65,000. So now we have to write the narration. Narration for this, please remember, we will write in open brackets. Narration always starts with being being started business with cash comma furniture and machinery so with that we have passed the first composite journal entry okay. so the first composite journal entry we have passed so you notice uh, here for all these three accounts what was common was capital and we have taken capital into 
consideration. Now let's move on to the next transaction. The next transaction is on 2nd May 2020. Now what is the transaction on 2nd May? Rent paid rupees 2000, interest paid rupees 1000. When you pay rent and when you pay interest, what is common? Cash would be common. So rent account debited 2000. Interest account debited 1000. What is common? Cash is common. Two cash account 3000. And then B payment of rent and interest. Okay. So notice uh, when you pay rent and when you pay interest, what was common? Cash is common. So we've taken cash uh, as a common credit account and then we have passed the entry. So such kind of entries are referred to as composite journal entries. Now let's look at the transaction on May 3rd. May 3rd, the entry is received commission rupees 1,600, 1, received interest 1,800. So when you receive a commission and when you receive interest, what is coming in? Cash would be coming in. So cash account debited. I'll come back to this amount a little later. So what all are we receiving? We are receiving commission. So to commission account. Commission is 1,600 to uh, interest to interest account to interest account 1,800. Okay. And now we have to total up over here. So the total over here would be 3,000. 400. Let's write the narration. Being receipt of commission and interest. Fourth. Now let's look at the transaction on fourth. Fourth. Paid wages rupees 3000. Paid commission rupees 500. Paid repair rupees 3000. So, what is common for all these payments? For all these payments, what is common is that you uh, cash was common. So, the, uh, the accounts which are involved here are wages account debited, wages is 3000. Commission account debited 500 repairs account three thousand two to cash account 6500 being payment of wages comma commission and repairs okay, so with that that is over so here we have three entries and that has been taken care fifth may 2020 purchase furniture rupees 20,000 missionary 24,000 so when you purchase missionary and furniture what is going on cash is going on so furniture account debited uh, 20,000 missionary account debited 24,000 to cash account 44,000. Let's write the narration being purchased 
furniture, furniture and machinery for cash. So with that, that comp composite journal entry is also done. Now let's move on to the next one. 6th May 2020, sold goods for 5,000 and land worth rupees 10,000. So when you sell goods and land, what is coming in? Cash is coming in. So cash account, cash account debited, 15,000 because it's a sum total of 5,000 and 10,000 to sales account 5,000 to land account 10,000 narration being sale of goods and land and land and let's move on to the last transaction last transaction on 7th may 2020 paid salary rupees 6000 and rent rupees 10000 so rent account oh, sorry salary account salary is nominal salary account debited 6000 land account land account debited 10000 to cash account 16000 being being payment of salary and so uh, i'm so sorry it's not land this is actually rent salary and rent so with that we have completed the composite journal entries for this particular question now one important aspect that you have to remember is that whenever we have to pass composite journal entry multiple transactions should be taking place on the same date and whenever these multiple transactions are taking place it should have a common account in so it will help it will help in simplifying our journal entry process so this is how we go about with composite journal